Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. If you've been following this channel now for some time, you will know that I do talk quite often about the different security exploits, security issues, and security vulnerabilities in regards to the Windows operating systems and the different browsers that I talk about and feature on this channel. Now, a new report uh, into Microsoft vulnerabilities, um, 2022 Microsoft vulnerabilities report, recently carried out by Beyond Trust. And this is just some highlights from that report. I thought it was quite interesting as I do talk about different vulnerabilities quite a bit on this channel. And I thought I'd just um, mention some of their findings for you in this video in regards to their report highlights regarding the um, different vulnerabilities pertaining to different Microsoft products. Now, in case you were unaware, um, Microsoft basically groups uh, different vulnerabilities um, pertaining to their different products uh, into seven main categories. And those are remote code execution, elevation of privilege, security feature bypass, tempering information disclosure, denial of service, and spoofing vulnerabilities, which you might have heard me mention one or two of those previously on this channel. Now, um, according to uh, this report done by uh, Beyond Trust, if we just zoom in here so you can get a better look on the video, they say that elevation of privilege remains the number one vulnerability category for the second year running, accounting for 49% of all vulnerabilities in 2021. So um, I have spoken about elevation of privilege quite a bit previously on this channel. And in case you are unaware what uh, elevation of privilege is all about, um, a brief summary according to Microsoft Docs, um, they say that elevation of privilege results from giving an attacker authorization permissions beyond those initially granted. So an example of this would be uh, when an attacker with a privileged set of read-only permissions somehow elevates the set to include read and write. So that's a brief description of what elevation privilege, that vulnerability is all about in case you are unaware. Now, if we just take a more in-depth look at this report, and uh, this is in no particular order, um, yeah, they say that um, uh, there were 1,212 vulnerabilities uh, in Microsoft products in 2021 in total, which was 5% lower than in 2020. And then they say from 2015 to 2020, removing admin rights could have mitigated on average 75% of critical vulnerabilities. And this is pertaining mainly to enterprises and organizations, but still would, still gives us a good indication into these Microsoft vulnerabilities pertaining to their products. Now, um, so that means if um, admin rights were removed, basically over three quarters of critical vulnerabilities could have been avoided. So that's, I thought was quite interesting. And if we just scroll down to this paragraph, um, where they say, along with the usual data breakdown, the full report examines how these vulnerability trends, along with cloud security adoption, collectively influence how we should think about cyber security and risk management in 2022 and beyond. So um, what they are trying to say there, and um, what they are talking about here regarding admin rights, is that most of these um, vulnerabilities and attacks took place locally which was um, they basically are highlighting the risks on on-premises technology. So that's on-site prem, on premises technology, which does give us an indication that a shift to the cloud can help improve an organization's security according to this report. And then if we just look at some of these other percentages and statistics, um, they say uh, that uh, there was a 47% decrease in critical vulnerabilities and that was the lowest number since the report began. And that, and basically they say in there that in 2021, they saw a 47% decrease in critical vulnerabilities, making, uh, uh, marking the lowest ever total since they started carrying out these reports. And then just some other um, uh, numbers and um, stats here just to look at quickly. Uh, they say that um, there were 349 vulnerabilities in the Internet Explorer and Edge web browsers, which was a record high uh, for uh, 2021, which um, was roughly four times higher than in 2020, apparently, according to reports. And then they saw a 40% decrease 
uh, in Windows vulnerabilities that dropped year on year. So there was, when it comes to Windows, there were, was a 40% uh, uh, decrease in vulnerabilities. And then um, there was a 50% decrease regarding critical vulnerabilities uh, in Windows Server that halved year on year. And then, as mentioned, um, elevation of privilege vulnerabilities in 2021, there were 588 of those vulnerabilities found in Microsoft products, which, as mentioned, was a record high. And that's what we mentioned here. Elevation of privilege remains the number one vulnerability category, according to this report recently carried out by Beyond Trust. So I thought that was just some interesting information, as I do talk uh, quite a lot about the different vulnerabilities, mainly pertaining to Microsoft products on this channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.